premiering after Survivor, CBS Wednesday, July 5th. dream last night. You know the kind where you wish you never had to wake up? So did I. What was yours about? Well, you were in it. And you were in mine. Well, uh, I, I came to your house and um, I stood outside the door. Uh-huh. And you came to the door and we talked. We did more than just talk, Billy. It wasn't a dream, was it? I sure hope not. Mac, I want to see you. I want to see you, too. Well, everybody here has already left for work. Can you come over? Yeah, I'll be right there. Uh, Mac? Yeah? You know, part of me still can't believe this is happening. Yeah, I know. It was just yesterday when I was about to leave for the whole summer. Yeah, so you wouldn't have to be around me. I guess that talk you had with your dad, I overheard. No, you know what? Um, I wasn't being honest. I'm really sorry about that. Well, just get over here as soon as you can. Okay. Honey, you are so out of your league. You have no idea what kind of hurt I will put on you to save my son. Hello, my darling. We can't say something wrong. No, I I just thought you were Jill. No, no, the black cloud is still in her room. <laughs> All right, now tell me, how was the prom? Was it everything you hoped it would be? Oh, it was so much more, Grandma. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, much more. Oh. Look who's here, bright and early. For the same reason you are, Jack. You heard about the prom. Jill stopped by my house last night, gave me the news in person. Oh, boy, lucky you. Yeah. Do you have any idea where she is right now? Oh, she's off somewhere licking her wounds, eating a little crow. She's not the only one who signed off on this, Jack. My, my, look who's sounding like the team player Boys, all of a sudden. Boys, please, could we just stick with the issue at hand here? I suggest we call the film crew, get them off the payroll ASAP. We're not letting go of the crew. In fact, we think we can keep the commercial, just with a different prom queen. Mackenzie. Everything, my darling. I'm uh, starting with the dress. Was it a success? Everybody loved it. Oh, that's fabulous. Which reminds me, I need to thank Miss Fenmore. No, no, she left early this morning. She had to get back to work, but uh, we'll write her and tell her how wonderful the evening was. <sighs> Details. <laughs> Colin Nadro. How was it? Oh, everything was just incredible. 
It was overwhelming. Oh, Mackenzie, yeah, that's the way every problem should be. It's overwhelming. Yes. But aren't you leaving out the most important part, Mackenzie? Tonight, Dave survives a visit from Martha Stewart tonight on CBS. Must you stick your nose into everything, Jill? Oh, don't worry, I'm leaving. I just have to ask. Did Mackenzie mention the high point of her evening yet? What are you babbling about? Well, what happened between her and Billy, of course. You and Billy. Do you have any idea what this woman is talking about? Hmm? Oh, come on, Mackenzie. Surely it hasn't slipped your mind, the fact that my son and you were crowned king and queen of the prom. You were? Oh, my God, what fun. Oh, yes, it was a magical moment, without a doubt. Every girl should have an evening like that. Once in her life. Sweetheart, you were voted queen of the prom. Why didn't you tell me? Oh. oh, I know. You probably thought it was just silly. Well, it was. A feather in your cap, I mean, to be uh, voted queen by all your classmates. I mean, Mackenzie, you, you did allow yourself to get into it a little, didn't you? Yes, Grandma, I did. Mackenzie, you know I prefer not even to think about Jill, but uh, the way she spoke to you, is there something going on between the two of you that I should be aware of? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Yes, she was elected prom queen. Yes, I heard that, Jack, but if Brittany was our focus, does that mean reshoots? Not necessarily. Okay, let's hear what you're thinking. Two girls were supposed to be paired with Brittany all night long. Rihanna and uh, Deirdre. Deirdre took ill. Mackenzie filled in for her. So Mackenzie was part of the pre-prom shoot, too. Yep, the camera's got coverage of all three girls. Well, we might be in luck. Not only is this a lifesaver, but an even better concept. Even if you do say so yourself. Hi to their careers and goodbye to life as they know it. Big Brother premieres CBS next Wednesday right after Survivor. Last night? You know what I'm talking about, man. Look, Ral, I, Mac and I, we just, you know... Dude. What are you looking so guilty for, all right? So you snagged a slow dance with my girl. You were king and queen of the prom. You had to do it, right? Well, yeah. Oh, wow, well, look at you, Mr. Unimpressed. What, are you telling me it didn't blow your mind being king for the night? No, it was great. Yeah. Well, for Mac, too. I mean, the whole way home, it was like she was buzzing or something. Now, who would have thought it, Mac getting all excited about being prom queen? Man, she was glowing. And I'm just glad everything turned out the way it did. But I know it must have been a bummer for you. Bummer? Well, Brittany wasn't exactly a happy camper when she lost. But you spent the rest of the evening comforting her, huh? Not exactly. Well, you know how Jill's always given us attitude. Well, maybe so, but whatever was going on in that twisted brain of hers was aimed directly at you, young lady. Well, I guess she was upset the way that things turned out at the prom. The fact that I won and not Brittany. Yes, of course. That would have derailed her plan for Global Jabot commercial completely, absolutely. And that did account for her some but less than charitable mood. You know, actually, I was surprised not to see her spitting fire. <laughs> oh, darling, let her rant and rave. She is not going to spoil this wonderful time for you. I mean not. Is 
Is that all she does, Grandma? What do you mean? Well, I know you two have had your battles in the past, but it seems like she tries to intimidate people. She says a bunch of nasty things and she makes all these threats, but does she really ever do anything? All right, now you listen to me and you listen to me well. That woman is so diabolical and she knows exactly what buttons to push. Like when she wormed her way into owning half your house? Mackenzie, I was beside myself, so much so that I no longer... You ended up on the streets. To answer your question, yes. Jill Foster Abbott is a very dangerous, dangerous, vindictive human being. So even if you can't see all those spanking clean surfaces, your dentist certainly will. Reach, we wrote the book on clean teeth. I see you're all here. Just waiting for you, sweetheart. So you can use me as your whipping boy? Well, go ahead. We don't have the luxury of feeling sorry for ourselves, Jill. You're right about that. So let's just stick to business. Try to fix this fiasco. Any suggestions? Yeah. We edit the spot, we focus on Brittany getting ready, and we cut the actual prom. No prom. That's real dramatic. Well, then cough up the money and let's reshoot it using Brittany as the winner, which she should have been. And totally lose a reality angle. <sighs> well, do any of you have a better idea? Yeah. We're going to go ahead and keep the footage we've already taken. How? It doesn't work unless Brittany wins. Well, maybe, maybe not. We play the aura of a prom without the queen being crowned. All right, something else is going on here. What is it? As usual, you're a bit slow on the uptake, Jill. Uh, oh, here they are. What the hell is he doing here? Good to see you again, too, Ms. Abbott. Any luck, Frank? Plenty of footage. I even went ahead and made a rough cut for you. Okay, would somebody please tell me what's going on here? Why don't you take a look and see for yourself? Both be happy. Trust me, Spike. Hebrew National. Mm. We answer to a higher authority. Cutest dog. Mm. Oh. I want to apologize. Apologize? Yeah. See, last night, after Brittany lost, I kind of got in her face. Told her to stop sulking and be happy for Mac. And the next thing I knew, you two were gone. I didn't ruin your evening, did I? No. No, I had a good time. Cool. Still, I know it must have been rough. All the hype, everyone assuming Brittany was going to win. No, well, you know how girls are. They get so intense about that stuff. Well, speaking of intense, your mom looked like she was going to explode. Well, she had a lot riding on Brittany being voted prom queen. Oh, no, wait. Hey, now that they're not going to do the commercial, does that mean your family's going to deep six the website idea too? I don't know. I don't know. I, I didn't talk to anyone. I hope not. Yeah, me too. You know, kind of think of it, you could do one without the other. I mean, why not? I hope you're right. What's up, Ralph? Uh, I was just thinking about something Mac's dad said, that I shouldn't count on her being around for the summer. Now, I meant to ask her about it last night, but with all the excitement and everything, I just... I forgot. But, but she hasn't mentioned it, so can't be that serious about leaving. Hope not. If I can't be with Mac this summer... Well, that would just be the worst. The way you talk about Jill seems as if she's capable of almost anything. Well, I'm sure she would uh, draw the line at murder, but beyond that... Oh, honey, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Your father and I have Jill in check now. 
I cannot tell you how happy I am that your night was so special. Queen of the prom. Oh, that is a memory you will have for the rest of your life. And I want you to cherish it. Cherish it. <laughs> oh, indeed. Mm. Oh, queen of the prom. There's our queen. Super your slogan under the final frame. Glow by Jabot for the night of your life. I think we have a winner, people. Absolutely. Billy and Mac look fantastic. Yeah, the reaction on Mackenzie's face is oh priceless. Hey, Ms. Abbott, there's the drama you talked about. The underdog won after all. Frank, just clean up those areas we talked about. And it's going to be terrific. Are you kidding? It already is terrific. What do you think, Jill? What do I think? I think this is some kind of conspiracy. I think the three of you are trying to drive me crazy. We are trying to get our bacon out of the fire. Well, it won't work, you know. Why not? Mackenzie? She is all wrong. All right, she won the stupid prom queen contest. But she can't represent Glow by Jabot. So she's not a supermodel. But she is the girl next door. And that's what this commercial is supposed to be about, remember? And every kid across the country is going to be able to identify with Mac. I know you had your heart set on Brittany. But Jill, this not only works, it works better. Ashley's right. But besides, this is a moot point. You're overruled. Mackenzie is the new glow by Jabot girl. End of discussion. Come on, Mac. Don't overreact. Jill can threaten you all she wants, but what can she really do? Express mail for Jill Abbott. Oh, I'll sign. Wednesday. Oh, good. You're here. I've been waiting for you. If you're gonna get on my case for being late, don't. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't getting on your case about anything. Besides, you're not late. Well, not too late anyway. Well, you said you were waiting for me, so what's going on? It's about the prom. It apparently didn't go as we had planned. Catherine's granddaughter, Mackenzie, was crowned queen instead of Brittany. Fortunately, it doesn't derail our ad. We can go with the same thing, just a different girl. Uh, Nikki? You were obviously preoccupied with something. What's on your mind? I told Victoria about my job. Tough going? Very tough. I knew she wouldn't be pleased, but her reaction is beyond anything I ever anticipated. I'm so... So 
So, buddy, what do you think? About what? Well, should I go over to the Chancellor place and, and just ask Max straight out if she's leaving for the summer like Mr. Reynolds said she is? Or should I just... Ralph, why don't you wait to talk to her? You know, it's still kind of early. She might be sleeping in. Are you kidding? Mac doesn't sleep in. Oh, even the morning after the big prom? Yeah. yeah, you're right. Last night was really exciting. She's probably just wiped out right now. I'll hold off. Well, look, as I said, she hasn't mentioned anything to me about leaving the summer, so she can't be that serious about it, right? And until I hear otherwise, I'm just going to assume that she she's going to be here in old GC doing the campaign with us. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's go out to the pool house right now. Maybe we can get some good ideas to help out your brother and sister on the website. Well, you're the computer whiz, man. You go check it out. Okay. I'll see you in a few. All right. Yep, Mac. I have to know what's in this letter. Mrs. Abbott, the search continues for the birth records of Mackenzie Browning. So far, I have had no luck. As always, I will proceed as you advise, but if you want to move ahead with your plan for the girl, I suggest reapproaching her mother. That would be the quickest way to get the information. It is, isn't it? Hey! Hey, yourself. What's up? Good news. Jack called the director. New cut of the prom commercial is going to be ready by early tomorrow once everybody's weighed in. Final version is going to hit the airwaves end of next week right after the 4th of July. So we're going to get started on this thing with a big bang. Hmm. You okay? You know, Ash, ever since Nikki and I arrived at Jabot, there hasn't been a decision made around here that didn't involve strong conflict. And there's always somebody walking around with his or her nose been out of joint. Well, I guess that's one of the hazards of having a lot of strong personalities work together. Conflict and business go hand in hand, you know that. Well, to a degree, yes. But I think we may be pushing it a bit. And if this continues, we could be harming Jabot more than helping it. Well, I think we're going to find a way to coexist. I mean, after all, the prompt sh Are you taking childbirth classes? Uh, yeah, of course. Need a coach? Are you volunteering? Absolutely. You know, I've told you that my loyalty to Jack comes first. But I want you to know, I really cherish you. And I welcome anything you can do to keep me from being put in the middle. I promise I will do my best. I just hope you'll give the same speech to your brother. Hello? Hey, Mac. Mac, I'm glad I caught you. Look, Ral is here, all right? So don't come over until I call you back, tell you it's all clear. Okay. Look, this really didn't hit me either. What this is going to do to Ral until they walked in the door this morning. I don't know. We will find a way to get through this. 
Yeah, maybe I should just tell him right away, get the whole thing out. No, no, don't talk about us to Raul or anyone. Mac, what's wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. It's just something's come up, okay? Look, I'll explain it when I see you. Well, what? What's come up? No, I'll be by later, okay? Hey, Billy, you okay? Who's that on the phone? Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's difficult being at odds with your daughter. It's much more than just being at odds. It's... I don't even want to get into it right now, but I do want to make one thing clear. Deep down, I still believe that I made the right decision coming to work here. It's just... It's just it's difficult seeing what it's done to your relationship. All right, I'm here. So, what do you want? Do you ever knock? The door was open, Jack. Come on. You're the one that wanted to see me after I wrapped up my other meeting. Okay, I can leave. No, 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 no. Stick around. This concerns you, too. What does? You remember we talked about extending the ad campaign following the Glow by Jabot kids through the summer? <laughs> Please, why are we still wasting our time on that? We can't do that because of the expense. We can't do what we originally talked about. However, we have figured out a way to make this work. How? Instead of having a camera crew follow the kids around, we set up several stationary cameras at the pool house. That way we can watch the prom queen and her friends getting through the summer on the Javot website. You're talking about a live feed. Dad, Ashley, Brad, and yours truly have all gone along with this. Nikki, what do you think? Yeah, it, it sounds good, I guess. But you're going to have to excuse me. I have a couple of other things I have to deal with right now. Well, that was a ringing endorsement. For, for what it's worth, this was simply a courtesy. I don't need you or Nikki to sign off on this. Not everything around here goes to a vote. So you don't need board approval on this? This is a promotional campaign that is well within our budget. No, we are going ahead with this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need just a little clarification here. If you're going to uh, be following the kids throughout the summer on this website thing, what kids are you talking about? The hook is, and has always been, we are following the further adventures of our prom queen. Our prom queen is Mackenzie. She would be the star of this. Sounds like a winner, doesn't it? The story to see the light of day. <sighs> Man, they really know how to push my buttons. Who? Telemarketers. That's who was on the phone? Yeah, so uh, did you get any exciting ideas for the website? Yeah, I got a few of them. Hey, that pool house is really cool, man. I'm totally psyched all four of us are going to be there all summer. Yeah. Oh, man. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, look. Even if Mac is cool with being here, what about Brittany? Well, what about her? Well, I know how upset she was at prom. Maybe she won't even want to do this thing anymore. Uh, you think she'll get over not being elected queen? I don't know. Well, she should. Right? After all, prom is over, and it's not like you and Mac are going to be wearing those crowns all summer. All right, so you're going to work on Brittany then, right? All right because if she doesn't want to do the website thing, then, then we got a huge problem. You're going to want to spend as much time with her as you can, and if she's out, then you're out, which just totally screws everything. And look, I know you're waiting for Brittany to call you, man, but... I think you should just go over there and see how she's doing. And try and sell her on this thing. All right, Billy. What is it? What's going on, man? And don't tell me that was some telemarketer on the phone. All right, something about that phone call really bugged you. What is it? Well, I'm glad you're both here. I want to hear all about the prom. Well, it had to be the best night of your lives. There's only one way out of this. One way.
CBS This Fall. Well now, obviously congratulations are in order for both of you. To my handsome young son for being elected king and his equally handsome friend for dating the queen. Well, it was an awesome evening, that's for sure. Yeah, you can say that again. Well, not quite so awesome for Jubo, though. But look, the important thing is that you two are with your best girls. Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi. Ashley, what are you doing back here? I'm going to meet Jack here in a few minutes, discuss the website, check out the way up for the pool house. I guess the guys told you what happened at the prom last night? Yes, they did, and that certainly changes things. Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. We just have to restructure the commercial to feature Mac instead of Brittany. We've invested way too much in this prom shoot and the playoff into the website to just chuck the whole thing because Brittany didn't win. I was just at the pool house. I came up with a few ideas. Well, I'd love to hear them, especially since it was your concept in the first place, Raoul. Cool. Yeah, cool. Why don't we go to the pool house? You can fill me in while we wait for Jack. You want to come? Honey, I've got to run upstairs, get some important papers. I've got a meeting at the office. Why don't you... Uh... Tell me what you've come up with when I see you later. Okay. okay. Billy, you want to come? Uh, you guys go ahead. I have something I have to do. Okay. Come on, Ro. Mackenzie will be the focus of this little brainstorm. Yeah. Here's how it works. Folks log on to the Jabot website. They find our prom queen up close and personal, dealing with makeup, dealing with fragrances, dealing with other Jabot products, if you catch my drift. Mm-hmm. And who else will be involved? Her little boyfriend, Raoul? Well, I assume so, along with other friends. <laughs> Jack, this is so important to Jabot. You know, I mean, the structure and the dynamics are critical here. And if the relationships are wrong... Well, what, what relationships are you talking about? Oh, please don't be dense. What, you really think Brittany Hodges is going to go around curtsying to this kid, Mackenzie? Did I say she had to? No. I just think the mix is wrong, and I don't think we should force it. Who's forcing anything? If Brittany has a problem with Mackenzie or Raoul or anyone else... We said we wanted reality, that's what we'll get. As for Billy, if he's at all uncomfortable with the situation, he'll let you know. Though I seriously doubt he will be. What, have you been talking to my son? Uh, let's just say he's gone along with this from the very inception. Jack, do I have to remind you that I am the boy's mother? I am reserving the right along with his father to say whether or not he can be part of this I'm website. I'm afraid it's a little late for that, Jill. This project is well into the pipeline. Things have changed. Meaning what? Meaning I don't think it's a good idea for Billy to be sitting in front of a website camera all summer. Jill, you cannot kill this thing because Brittany was not elected prom queen. That's not just what I'm thinking about. What is it? Come on, speak now or forever hold your peace. We're spending a lot of money on this. Nothing. I'm just, I'm just trying to do what's right, both for Jabot and my son. And I was thinking, the chemistry might be better if we went with somebody like Rihanna and her Jill, boyfriend, JT. Listen to me. If you try to ace Billy out of this thing against his will, do you remember the gap that existed between the two of you? It will be bigger, wider, and deeper than you ever imagined. I guarantee that. But this is as far as I'm willing to go. So now you decide. Do you still want me to stay? Or do you want me to go? Billy, what are you doing here? Something's wrong. I want to know what it is. Nothing's wrong. You shouldn't be here. Mac. Mac, we 
when we talked on the phone earlier, you said you were on your way over. And then when I called to tell you to wait, that Rao was there, you sounded upset. You want to tell me why? What are you doing? Clothes? You're packed? What does this mean? What's going on with you, Mac? Commander 6 on 27 First News. Don't miss Big Brother, premiering after Survivor, CBS Wednesday. You've packed your clothes. Yeah. Why? Billy, back off, okay? What I'm doing doesn't concern you. Of course it does. Everything you do concerns me. Billy, please. Mac, Mac. Mac. Is this because of the talk you had with your father? About taking off for the summer? I thought you weren't going to do that. Have you changed your mind? thinking about you every minute. The great times that we're going to have together. The things we're going to share. No, we can't. Why not? Because I'm not going to be here. Wait a minute. You're not just leaving for the summer, are you? You're running away again for good. We started without you. Oh, do I mind? I was kind of hoping you guys would have the whole summer ad campaign worked out by now. Well, we did come up with some ideas about camera placement and which rooms to use. I was giving Ashley a few ideas on the technical stuff. Yeah, how to set up website links to product information. Uh, maybe a contest or two? We don't want the website just to be a place where people go to find out what the kids are up to. You know? Yeah, see, that's the hook. Uh, we got to dazzle them with things to look at. Buttons to push. Right? That's what we're competing with on the Internet. Hey, this kid knows something about marketing. Yeah, he sure does. <laughs> that's just common sense. Yeah, and I suspect quite a lot of hours behind the computer. You're a valuable resource. We're very lucky to have you. Man, I'm just glad to help. Hey, I just realized Billy never even joined us. What do you suppose he is? Come in. Okay, good. Call me when the first pass is finished. Perfect. Till Monday, then. They'll have no contact with the outside world and absolutely no privacy. Whatever happens, you'll see it all. Big Brother premieres CBS Wednesday right after Survivor. Please, don't make it any harder. The hell I won't. What's going on, Mac? I can't tell you. Is this because of us? Because what happened between us? Are you scared of the way you feel or, or are afraid of what this will do to Rao? No. Then what is it, Mac? Look, can you just trust me and believe that when I say I have no choice, just let me go, okay, please? No. No way you think I'm going to let you walk out of my life. I can't do that, Mac. 
But we have to talk. <sighs> we can't talk here. It's too dangerous. Dangerous? No. Someplace private. Come on. Inside. Showtime. This fall, it's all here on CBS. Upstairs. He's not in the study. He's not in the game room. It's very strange if he would take off like this. You know, I bet I know where he is. Where's that? He went to go see Brittany. Well, I hope so, anyway. That's where I told him he should go. You told him to go see his girlfriend? He hasn't called her since prom. Why is he being so insensitive? That poor thing, she lost out on being prom queen. Yeah, she was pretty upset. What's going on with him? What? You know? No, I'm sure Ralph's right. She's, he's over at Brittany's. Well, he should have contacted her before now, don't you think? I'm sure he has his reasons. Somewhere you have to be? Uh, yeah, I just... I'm kind of waiting to go see Mac. Well, uh, don't let us keep you. Well, Billy said she'd probably be sleeping in. She'd be awake by now, don't you think? At this hour, I would certainly think so. Yeah, all right, look, I'm just going to head over there. If you see Billy, you say bye for me. Yeah, wait a second. Speaking of Mac, you know, we still haven't even checked with her. About? Well, now that she's the prom queen, we've pretty much committed to altering the commercial. She would be the star. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that is so cool. And that is if she agrees. You have no reason to think she might object. Oh, no, 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 she should be fine with it. Okay, well, have her give us a call, will you? I will. She's going to be thrilled, trust me. See ya. Okay, give it up. I picked up a vibe about Billy. What's going Actually, on? Actually, hold that thought. I have an important phone call I have to make. Well, I... You're going to back out on me now. My sister's old playhouse when they were kids. And now? It's been forgotten. Nobody ever comes back here. Well, you wanted privacy, now you got it. So talk to me, Mac. Tell me what's going on. Look, it's really something that I shouldn't get into with you. How can you say that? If something has hurt you, I want to know about it. I want to help you, Mac, please. You don't want to know. It's best if you never know. Yeah, well, if it's doing this to you, I want to know. Your mom. So drains stay clear longer. Drano Foamer keeps drains clear longer. S.E. Johnson. My mother. What's she done now? Are you really sure you want to hear this? What? She come down on you for being voted prom queen? Uh, for messing up her Jabot ad? 
It's more than that. Well, that's not your fault, Mac. Is she taking it out on you? Is that what she's doing? It's not just that, Billy. Then what? Then what, Mac? Why is she on your case? Us. Us? She must have seen us dancing at the prom. And she must have seen what was going on between us. Yeah. Well, I guess it was pretty obvious. Well, I'm not surprised she noticed. I felt ten feet tall. Scared you like this because she doesn't want us together. Hey. Does that explain everything? Yeah, except who's taking these back? Phillips, safe, effective relief without stimulants. I can't believe this. I mean, I know you're not my mom's favorite person, but I never thought she'd come down this strong on you. Why can't you just be happy for me? I mean, you were so great. No, I'm not. Yes, you are, Mac. I think you're perfect. I think you're perfect, too, Billy. Hey. No, we're not little kids anymore. Adults can't tell us how to feel. I agree with you. Except for where your mother is concerned. She is never going to accept my being with you. Well, that's her problem. All right, sure, yeah, it bites big time. But we will get through this. Right? We won't let her get to us. Right? She can rant and rave all she wants, but she's only one person, Mac. Right, my dad and the rest of the family will not back her up. She can't keep us apart. You're wrong, Billy. She can. Look, this queen bit against me. And I'm tired of your waffling. I need to know where you stand on this, Nicholas, and I need to know now. Is, is Mac home? I don't know. I just got home from shopping a little while ago. I, I haven't seen her, though. Well, do you mind if I come in and wait? Oh, of course not. Come in. Make yourself at home. I have to put the groceries away. threats get to you. It's all just a bunch of noise. She's serious, Billy. So, what is she gonna do? Is she gonna, is she gonna ground me for life? Huh? Forbid me to see you? No way. They are just empty threats. She can back them up. How? How? That doesn't make any sense. She said that she would do anything to keep us apart. And she means it. Here.
I don't understand. What does this mean? Well, I'm not sure exactly. But whatever it means, Jill's determined to drag my mother into this. And that can't happen. I just can't. There's nothing specific in here about my mom letting your mom know where you are. No, but it's obvious that she's already trying to dig up something on me. I mean, it says in the letter she should reapproach my mother. What if she's already been in some kind of contact with her? No, uh-uh. If that would have happened, you would have heard something from her. You have it, right? No, thank God. But that doesn't mean anything. Jill said that she would do anything to keep us apart. And then this letter comes, which means that... She might have already made some kind of contact with her. And if that happens, what if Jill finds out how much I want to stay away from her? Hey, I'm sure there's some way around this. There is. I'm leaving. No. Like, running away, that's not an option, Mac. Right? My mom is not going to come between us. Billy, get real. She hates me. She wants you with somebody like Brittany. Somebody who is powerful, very social, and very beautiful. Mac, this stuff means nothing to me. Right? What's important is who you are on the inside, not what you have. Yeah, well, unfortunately, your mom's take on things is a bit more materialistic. She is determined to break us up. Okay, look, all right, my mom can be intense. She can make threats, but most of the time, she ends up eating her own words. Oh, yeah? Well, ask my grandma. She'll tell you how incredibly destructive Jill Abbott can be. Look, I'm sorry to be talking about your mom this way, but if you think that I'm not going to take her seriously, then... Your mom really scares me, Billy. Come on. All right, it'll be okay. I'll never forget you. I promise. But I have to go. I have to go. I need to know what's going on with Billy. This concerns me both as a Jabot executive and as his sister. What now, come what's on. your sudden interest in teenage romance and dating? My God, you're trying to recapture your misspent youth? Oh, shut up. We're planning our entire summer ad campaign around the relationships between these kids. If something's going on, I should know. Maybe I can help straighten it out. Okay, I have some idea of what's going on. I just think Billy would rather you hear it from him. You're making this sound very heavy. You realize that? When you're 16 years old, a situation like this is very heavy. You want to know where I stand? idea what this is about? No, I, I don't, but I certainly am curious. Well, we'll simply ask Mackenzie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking about? Nothing. Come on, what is it? Spit it out. Mrs. Chancellor, you be honest with me. 
What do you mean, am I being honest with you? Well, Brock said that Mac might not be around for the summer. But is that what this is about? Is she going away? Well, I know of no such plan, and if Mackenzie were leaving, I would certainly know. Thing this week as the world turns. Dave's all new with Tom Arnold and Brian Wilson tonight. Tell me what it is. Come on. I, 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 I just think it's better I keep my mouth shut. And maybe it's not better. Since when do you ever keep your mouth shut? That's not your usual mode. It's a guy thing. Don't you start giving me guy thing. Give me an... I'll get that. I'm sure you will. Frank, come on in. How's it going? Going great. You got something for us? Yeah, the rough cut. So fast? It's not totally done. Still needs to be sweetened with music, and we'll be adding some special effects, wipes and stuff. Well, that sounds great. I, uh, I also brought along some extra tape we shot after Jill stalked out of the prom. I think you're gonna love it. Uh, wait till you see it. There's a moment with the king and queen dancing. That dynamite. Well, come on, let's check it out. Yeah, TV's in there. I do trust you, but you don't know what happened. Well, I know from the talks that we had last fall that bad things happened to you when you were living with your mom. And that's why I ran away. And I ended up in the shelter where I met Kay. I know. And whatever happened back then, you don't have to worry about it now. Right? You're not alone. You, you have your grandma and your father. You got me? Besides, even if your mom did find out where you are, she can't touch you. Yes. Yes, she can. I'm a minor in her custody. She wasn't married to my father. Believe me, I've looked into this. She's my legal parent. The only way that I can stay away from her is if I'm somewhere where she can't touch me. And she can't find me. Well, are you sure she wants you back? I mean, obviously, you two don't get along. You know, why would she go through all the trouble of coming after you and dragging you home? If she did come after me, I doubt she'd come alone. I can't risk it. Who do you think she would come with? What, is there a, a guy? My stepfather. What did this guy do to you to make you so afraid? I, I can't tell you. All I can tell you is that if there is any chance... Hey, come here. All right. Well, there's one thing we have to do. We have to make sure my mother doesn't take this any further. I'm going to tell her she better stop messing with you. But what if she turns on you? Then I'll deal with it. And if she makes threats, I'll threaten her right back. I'll let Dad and Jack know what she's doing, and she'll be a complete outcast. And if she does anything to hurt you, I will never talk to her again. She'll be out of my life for good. You would do that for me? Mac, I can't stand to see you upset like this. I want to go find my mom right now and tell her she better lay the hell off of you. Wait, no, Billy, you can't. You can't tell your mom anything. Baby, everything is a mess. My family is more torn up than ever. Wasn't that magic? The way those kids looked at each other? I mean, not only did Mackenzie get elected queen of the prom, she also got the guy. It's more than we hoped for, if you ask me. I agree, Frank. Ash? Oh, yeah. Finish up, do the sweetening. We want this to hit the airwaves end of next week. No problem. In the meantime, you hold on to the rough cut. Okay. Thanks so much, Frank. Thanks, Frank. Oh, yeah. Well, that mystery is solved. The dance between Billy and Max says it all. 
I don't know if it was that obvious at the prom, but on this tape, it sure is. Those two are crazy about each other. So, now you know. Yeah. Why didn't you want to tell me? Oh, come on, you know why. Respecting Billy's privacy. There's a lot at stake here, though, Jack. Including other people's feelings. I hope you reminded yeah, don't Billy Don't care. If you think this has gone on for a long time, it hasn't. At least not overtly. These two have been living in denial. They've been telling themselves and everybody else that they're indifferent to each other, and I think at the prom, the love thing kind of snuck up on them. Ain't teenage love a gas. Well, it's not going to be such a gas for Brittany and Rowan. I'll, you know, Billy's on a high right now. Eventually, he'll come closer to Earth, and he'll do the right thing. So will Mackenzie. They'll let Brittany and Rowan know what's going on. Well, I hope you're right. Because our entire summer ad campaign could depend on it. You worry too much. There is magic in that tape. Uh-huh. And that's another thing I hope Billy and Mackenzie realize. Once this hits the air, it's not going to be a secret any longer. The entire nation's going to know what's going on between those two. You cannot let your mother know that we even talked about this. Why not? Because Jill said that if you came to her and had any knowledge of her conversation with me, that she would get back at me. That it would be all-out war. She's out of control. Yeah, she is. Well, as mad as I am at her, I can't risk her coming down on you any harder. Now you understand why I have to leave town. It's my only alternative. I knew that if I stayed here and I tried to stay away from you, that it would be impossible. And that you would find out. And this is how it would end. Me hurting you. Except I can't end back. I can't. Well, what choice do we have? If we stay together, then Jill will do her worst, and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Well, you may be right about not pushing her. But I'm not willing to give you up. I just can't. I can't and I won't. you can do. I don't want to lose you either, Billy, but what option do we have? Well, there's only one thing I can think of. We don't tell anybody about us. I want to see each other secretly. Do you really think we could do that? Well, it won't be easy. You know, hide in the way we feel. A lot easier than losing you. So how would we do this? Well, we could meet here. Now nobody ever comes to this place. And meanwhile, we'll buy ourselves a little time together alone. We will figure a way out of this mess, Mac. I promise you. I want to be with you so much. I know. Same here. But what about Raul and Brittany? I mean, if we can't tell them the truth. It's a problem. I know. But we got to bite the bullet. And we don't have a choice. You know, anyway, it's, it's not forever. Right. I can't wait till this is all over and we can tell everybody how we feel. We'll make everybody understand. Yes, we will. Ooh. I better get you back home. Yeah, before people start wondering where I am. Yeah. Especially my mother.
What is going on? There you go, lurking again. It's Catherine. They met a few years ago at college in Oklahoma. Now...